so American Girl recently had a new release, and I thought it would be a fun idea to edit some of the items from American Girl into outfits that I would like. So here's an example of Instagram. I did this a few weeks ago. And yeah, let's get started. So first I'm going to American Girl to go look at the outfits that they have and then take pictures of the current outfits or any of the outfits there that I think that I'm going to edit. So this Joss outfit is cute. I think I'm going to just take the shoes from it maybe? I'm not sure. And then... I'm just looking through the different American Girl outfits, seeing what I could use. I'm mainly looking like at the shape of the clothing item because I can change the color and everything, but I can't exactly completely change the shape of a shirt or a skirt or something like that. Um, so it would be fun to do this outfit. Recently it has gotten a lot of criticism from people like on AGIG and AGTube, so I think I can edit this into something else. So I'm just putting these outfits out, uh, trying to see what I can make. I just chose from a bunch of different American Girl outfits, so they're all kind of random all over the place. Um, yeah, so I think I'm gonna cut the skirt out of this one. I think this top would be cute as just like a tank top, so we'll take that. And then we're gonna take the gray shirt from this outfit because there's not much I can do to save those gold pants. I also really like these boots, so we're gonna take that. I think those are just pretty decent item and then I think I like these shoes from Luciana's suit outfit thing I don't remember what it's called <laughs> See, so yeah, I'm just fixing up the corner since it was kind of covered here and then Let's try and making these like a lighter shade of jeans. I'm not too fond of all the stars on it, so I think I'm going to get rid of all of them. <laughs> So if you're wondering how I'm doing this, I'm just using the clone stamp tool and then also the like content aware tool. I don't know like technical things with Photoshop, I just do whatever I think I should do to make it look right. Um, it's all just trial and error really and then sometimes I look up tutorials online. But honestly, I don't think I use prop Photoshop like the proper way. I'm sure a lot of things I'm doing are incorrect, so don't come for me. <laughs> And then I'm not too fond of the whole headphone thing, so I'm just gonna take it out completely. <laughs> I thought these boots would go with this outfit, but I think I'm going to use these shoes instead. And then 
and I'm changing the color of this red top so it's not so Olympic-y. And I think these two colors go well together. Um, I think I'm going to keep the stars on it too because it symbolizes American Girl. And then I'm going to use this dress from this new American Girl outfit. But I'm going to change the color so it's not so bright and in your face. Because, I mean, it's a cute color, but I'm just trying to make these more, like, trendy, I guess. And then I think I want a turtleneck to go under it. So this is the only turtleneck that American Girl currently sells. By the way, American Girl, like, what happened to all the outfits? Where are the pajamas? I was looking for the, the pajamas for the historical characters, and they're just not there anymore. I didn't know they stopped selling that. I don't know. <laughs> anyway, I'm taking out the overalls because uh, no one wants to see that. So yeah, the turtleneck is from Mary Ellen's outfit, by the way. So I think this turtleneck and the dress look well together. I mean, it's kind of similar to the original outfit. I just changed the colors a bit. It's kind of fall-like. And so now I'm trying to decide between these two bomber jackets. Um, overall, it was just much easier to go with the Olympics version one because the one on the right was a little bit harder to cut out. Honestly, I don't like how the jacket turned out too well, but I didn't want to mess with it too much more. And then I really like this sweater, but I, it didn't really go with the skirt. I didn't, I, I don't know, I just didn't really like how I went with a skirt and I couldn't figure out a more creative way to use the sweater. So I think I ended up deleting this later on. And I changed the color of the skirt too, to be like more brownish. And then I had uh, Joss's white platform sneakers go with this because those are really cute. I wish I could get just the sneakers. Next I added in these stockings. I thought it would go well with the fall kind of outfit that I made with the boots and everything, so I changed the socks to be more white and then added that in next to the outfit on the right. Yeah, I went back and tried to find a different top because I didn't really like the way the blue one was looking. So I ended up using the meat, the new meat outfit for the boys. And I think it's a really cute top actually. It kind of looks like a schoolgirl outfit, but you know, I think I like it. So bye-bye to the blue shirt, it's no longer, <laughs> I didn't end up using it. I decided to make it this brownish color to match the skirt a little better. And I like how this outfit turned out. And then I also decided to take the rainbow part out. I think it's really pretty, but it doesn't really match this outfit, so yeah, I have to go. So yeah, now I'm just adjusting everything to make it fit. Uh, and I'm looking up some inspiration to put onto the gray t-shirt because it's kind of plain right now. I wanted to do like a band tee thing, so I tried writing American Girl out. Um, and then like sizing it down, putting it onto the shirt. 
messing with the colors and everything. But honestly, I didn't really like the way it looked. Like, it just looked cheesy and, I mean, it's okay, but it's not really, it just, it just didn't look that good to me. So I decided to be very basic and just type it in text and put it in an arch and call it a day. <laughs> And then I tried to look for more accessories, like a bag or something, so I took this Joss bag, but honestly it's kind of really beachy and doesn't go with any of the outfits that I made, so I ended up not using that. And I used a different bag from the American Girl whatever the outfit this is. <laughs> and then I color changed that to black because Everything in this is very muted and dark. There, I just basically took all the color out of it. And those are the finished outfits. So the first outfit we have here is the gray t-shirt that says American Girl on it with some ripped jeans, some black uh, sneakers, and a bomber jacket. I think it's a really nice casual outfit. Um, the next outfit, I added the little choker from Luciana's outfit because I just thought it was missing something. Yeah, anyway, I kept the star theme because American Girl, but maybe I should have taken it out and it would have looked better, but I kind of like the way it is. And then I also added these loafer shoes. Um, then the next outfit has the top from the boys meet outfit and then also the plaid skirt from one of the new American Girl outfits and then the white shoes from Joss's new outfit and the black bag which used to be pink but is now black from that new American Girl outfit with the cactus and stuff. And then the final outfit I used Mary Ellen's turtleneck um, and then the galaxy kind of print dress on top but I changed the color so it no longer looks like a galaxy and it has brown boots from the country riding I don't know the names of any of these sets I'm sorry and then the socks from the other outfit before anyway that was not that descriptive I hope you enjoyed this video let me know if you want me to do more editing videos like this I found it a lot of fun um, and yeah I'll see you guys next time Bye!